wildflowers those were there in the field that we're going to do some training on I never got a chance to show you any of the uh, the cuisine from Slovakia I have no idea what that is <laughs> actually ate it before I had a chance to take a video of it Look like monkey brains got some beef stroking off there some fried chicken it was awesome the food's been really good this trip so here's the uh, field that we are training at today it is uh, the, well, it's above a little soccer field there some uh, beautiful wildflowers Here's uh, Peter doing something that our first dog we're going to tell you about. <laughs> and I already forgot this dog's name. Hold on, I'll look for it on my phone while I'm talking to you. Really nice female. As a matter of fact, I think this will be another great dog for uh, Peru. Uh, there's a Cane Corso uh, puppy. That, uh, the, the dad actually will do some bear bite work here in a second. Oh, that is dad. He went from puppy to dad so quickly I'd missed it. But really nice dog. This dog uh, had a lot of power. Uh, not the fastest dog on the planet, but when he hits you, he hit you like a 44 Magnum. And not real fast bullet, but uh, when it hits you, it uh, would knock you through a wall. That's kind of what this dog does. The bite's powerful too. Uh, asked Peter about it afterwards and uh, said the dog had a lot of pressure. And uh, really nice dog with the, the build on that dog. The the intensity was just outstanding. Here's a very fun little thing coming up here. Um, watch what happens here. <laughs> Peter's going to go down range. He actually walks behind us. It's me standing here with the camera, and Peter's sitting on the ground resting from some decoy that, that already took place. And we're going to do a runaway. The dog suddenly picks up that I think that Peter's sitting on some equipment, or picked up the odor, or just maybe thought maybe a second that we were closer. So. Maybe didn't want to run so far, take that big body down the uh, field. But um, here we go, kind of watch what happens. Yikes! <laughs> oh, we cracked up. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know the dog business, uh, as far as bite dogs and that kind of stuff, your best thing is not to move. Watch how stationary uh, Peter stays as this dog takes a glance at him. <laughs> He runs by. <laughs> so great there in slow motion. This uh, you gotta you gotta try to stand still, and if it hits you, it hits you. He's definitely gonna hit you if you uh, turn and run. So here's how slow he runs. But watch his power. Bam! <laughs> it hits him pretty hard. Uh, the dog weighs equal to the decoy. Watch how far he takes him. Now he takes him about 15 feet. Watch this. He starts there and just the momentum and the weight of the dog causes Peter to go that way. He didn't go that way on purpose. He did get out of the dog's way, but uh, the dog's weight took him out. So here is uh, Bozy or Cozy or what's this dog's name? Hold on, I'm looking as I'm trying to uh, do this at the same time. Uh, his name is Bazy. They thought that her name was Crazy. <laughs> before but her name is Faisy and um, she is a really nice female uh, German Shepherd uh, she has an ear infection so you're gonna see one of her ears is kind of cocked uh, to the left or the right I can't remember uh, but uh, don't pay attention to that there's a little ear infection a lot of dogs get them but watch the speed in this dog and the commitment nice so nice I know that shot's so far away but we got a whole bunch of sands we're gonna talk a little bit about decoying on this particular video and what we're doing here. Here the dog's being trained out. Again, we don't want the dog looking back at the handler. We want the out and then the, the concentration to be on the decoy. Um, so here's a, a shot coming up here, I think, after we do a little tease up and another send. Um, we're going to show you if you're decoying what it is that you want to make sure and concentrate on so that you get uh, what it is you want to actually be in the next week. Uh, but that was a really nice catch. This dog has a lot of speed, a lot of power. And uh, look at that big tail wagon enjoying the heck out of this bite work. Uh, for those of you that, again, are watching some of the stuff for the first time, these dogs enjoy what they're doing. They're not beat, they're not uh, shocked uh, with a cattle prod to get them to do what it is we want to do. Uh, watch there how Peter puts the dog in the sit position. Just very nice. Hey, what happened to my example there? Maybe it comes next time. Oop. <laughs> I forget. I don't even know if I ever found out this dog's name. Uh, the dog had a little bit of uh, uh, 
issue with obedience, so I didn't really kind of pay that much attention. But the bite works really nice, and the technique that Peter has to use with this dog because of the dog just a little lanky and really not on target per se. But, you know, I don't know how old this dog is or what his history is, but uh, uh, Peter does a great job of handling him. He lets him go out when he wants to give him power. He knows uh, and communicates with Peter number one when he's going to. Uh, run so that he can let out the line so the dog perceives that he's chasing off the decoy. Um, the way that Peter holds that sleeve up because he knows that dog jumps up in the air kind of awkwardly. And it's just a difficult dog to catch. Let's see how he kind of ju he jumps up with his paws almost parallel to the, the decoy. Can go again? So here we'll watch this one again in slow motion. And you'll see how this dog is just different. Now he jumps up and kind of sticks his paws out kind of in an awkward little position you can see that peter has to do a really good job of catching this dog he literally has to catch this dog the uh, dog has a lot of uh, confidence that um, peter's going to be there for him if peter wasn't the dog would just go flying by all right here's rex our uh Nama, who's going to be going to palm springs uh, had a really good day today he just every day just got stronger and stronger and, Really enjoyed watching this dog um, over the period of time we had him. The dog just uh, uh, a really nice Malinois, really clear-headed. Almost took out Peter's knee. The last time we were here, he almost Peter almost broke his knee with a German Shepherd. Look at that, this is another slow motion. And uh, I don't know if you can hear me in the background saying, "Oh no, not again," <laughs> because it was a pretty serious hit last time. And again, this dog just comes in tight. I like it. It's a, it's hard to catch this dog because he comes into the body. Just like if you're a police officer, you want to shoot for center mass. You're not shooting for an arm. This dog comes in tight. So Peter actually, after the third or fourth try, was able to catch that dog a little bit away from his body. Here's his brother Aries. One little shot of him. We took a lot of video, but um, just to uh, save time, uh, didn't do too much uh, in regard to video with him. Here's an interesting dog. This dog kind of, uh, again, another lanky, kind of unusual technique to this dog. Uh, you can see the difference how this dog kind of drags his back end on the ground. He doesn't have that same commitment as some other dogs. Look at that back end. You can actually hear it dragging on the grass. Just uh, when you're looking at a dog or selecting a dog, what you're looking for is that commitment. Here's another Cane Curso. It actually is the brother to that big dog that nearly took Peter out every time he took a bite. This is from the same litter. And it's a male. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when they told me. I thought it was an entirely different breed altogether. Here's another King King Corso. It's not from the same uh, uh, litter, I don't believe. It looked like an older dog to me. Uh, but again, looks completely different than even the other two. All right, here's our girl back again. This may be uh, a little shot of that video that I was talking about. Again, just wanted to show that speed, the catch, the commitment. Uh, beautiful, beautiful dog. I like this dog a lot. We're going to definitely be doing our best to uh, get our hands on this dog. So here we go. So here we have the decoy out in the dog, the timing, the butt on the ground, and looking at the decoy. That is when you want to move. That's when you want to give the dog the indication that he's supposed to bite. Here we go again. Another out. Not looking at him. Now Peter's actually going to get the dog's a little bit of better look by moving. Now, there you go. That's the way to do it. And here we go. Another runaway, another angle. Bam. Full speed. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, the dog is so used to the sleeve giving, being given to her, Peter actually backs off without giving the sleeve to her, and you can see how it kind of throws a little confusion. This is important to uh, remember as a decoy that you don't always want to give the dog the sleeve. And you see how the dog did, got confused. He's going, hey, wait a minute, you're supposed to stick that thing in my mouth. And so uh, we got to make sure that we give different looks to the dogs. Running away, going into the dog, going to the right, going to the left. And uh, going away from the dog is definitely uh, something important because a bad guy is not going to lean forward and give you the arm um, uh, for the bite. And so we come back again, give another bite, the runaway, full speed runaway, not uh, half jogging, you know, the normal decoy kind of runaway. He was running as, about as fast as Peter can run, which I don't know if it's that fast, but. And there you go, good. There you go. There's our website. There's our phone number. There's our email. Give us a call. Give us an email. Talk to you later.